Welcome to our series, Moving America Forward. Each week we'll be focusing on America's entrepreneurs as they take us to new roads, new opportunities, new ways to fill the gaps left by today's failing companies. Our series will be looking at that and a lot more. So come with me and watch as the entrepreneurs of our nation move into the future. And I'm Doug Llewellyn here in our studios in Los Angeles with our guest today, who is the founder of Safe Ship Franchise Corporation, which is headquartered in Ormond Beach, Florida. I'd like you to meet him now. His name is Richard Marsh. Rich, welcome. Nice to have you here. Nice to be here. You know, a little while ago, before we begin this interview, a little while ago, you had a chance to answer some questions from William Shatner. Let's take a look at a brief portion of that and see how it went. Watch this. I know you are well established in your business, but, uh, and I'm sure it wasn't easy to get started. Would you describe for me briefly what you do and how you began your business and how do you think it's helping to move America forward? Mr. Shatner, Safe Ship began as a single packing and shipping store and grew to one of the largest independent stores in the United States. This led us to start franchising our concept in 2008 which has now grown across the United States. What we do is help entrepreneurs duplicate our success by guiding them through the ins and the outs of the business. We teach them the critical skills needed to make sure that they can realize the dream of owning a successful business. That, Mr. Shatner, is how we are helping move America forward. That was really fascinating what you were telling uh, William Shatner about. I wanted to point out Safe Ship Franchise Corporation is described as the newest and most successful packing and shipping franchise opportunity in the United States. I think that's pretty remarkable. So we're honored to have you with us, okay? It's great to be here. Yes, we have been seen as the up and coming stars. Tell me a little bit about, I think everybody understands what a pack and ship business is. You bring a package mm -hmm. in uh, or something you want to send to somebody and your job is to package it. You wrap it up so it's shippable and then you pick the, uh, the most uh, appropriate method to get it to the destination, right? That is correct. Tell me a little bit about what makes you different from other pack and ship companies. We're probably the only franchise organization that actually does all of the post office services at the same price as the post office. We don't increase the price. Therefore, what we do is save the customer money. If they're going to one of our competitors, you would be paying a premium price, such as a 49 cent or a 47 cent stamp now could cost you as much as 57 or 60 cents. With us, our 47 cent stamps are 47 cents, just like the post office. And you avoid the long lines at the post office. That is correct. Although you might have lines in your store, but nothing like the post office, nothing right? Nothing at all. Okay, and you have nice people to, <laughs> to work with. Yes, we make sure that the people that are dealing with our customers take good care of our customers, that they treat our customers the same way we want to be treated when we go into a store for service. But the other thing is, there are other shipping. I mean, you, you deal with FedEx, mm -hmm. FedEx, UPS, and, uh, and lots of other shipping facilities. Right. And, That's and on top of it, whatever you want to ship, you'll do it. If you want to send a car, to uh, Cucamonga, you'll do it, right? Well, I don't know if Cucamonga will allow us to get cars <laughs> in, but uh, yes, we were... Uh, we Honda to Helsinki, you do we, that. Yes, we did that. We've done that before. We've also sent uh, huge trucks to Africa. Uh, we're different because people have different things that they're shipping. It cannot be always defined as this box that's this big going to this place in the United States. Right. Okay, if that's it, that's, that's fine. But we have to be able to ship things to South America or to any place else in the world, and we do that. We have special ties that we do with our shipping companies in Europe. We use not only DHL, but we also use Polens. Or if we're doing, uh, going down to Mexico, we will work with Estafeta, which is like the UPS of Mexico. Mexico. It's a private company. So we do a lot of other things that, that, uh, that the other packing and shipping stores don't do or won't do. Uh, Let's say that you wanted to send something to Europe. We've had people, since we are uh, headquartered in Florida, we've had customers come in who have moved to the United States and then decide they're going back to Europe and they want to move household items back to Europe. Yes, we can do that. And we can get it done by uh, LCL, which is less than water, 
uh, less than container loads for water shipping, which is much less than going by air, which is what uh, most of the other cor corporations such as FedEx or UPS or um, DHL, that is what they do. That's an air service. I'm prompted to ask you how this all started. I mean, it started when you're buying one little shop, right? Well, we took over a store called Safe Ship. Uh, the store was established in 1988, but this was in 2001. The owner had gotten out and sold it to an employee. The employee didn't like doing the work. So what the employee decided to do is to sell it and get out of it. So we took it over. We love the name. The mean, the, the me is you and your wife. Yes, it's the, okay. cute, the cute little blonde girl right. from Texas that I'm married to, yes. Right. So how did, how did it mushroom into the point where you're now, you, you're a franchisor, you have franchisees all over the country, and yeah. you're growing by leaps and bounds, as I pointed out. You've just been honored as the newest and most successful packing and shipping franchise opportunity in the whole country. Right. The way we're different is that people would come into the store and they'd say, can you ship this? Well, it's something that nobody else could ship such as a freight shipment to Europe. Right. And we would say to them, well, we think so. What is it? Where is it going? How heavy? All of these kind of things. And over a period of time, we made it known that we would ship anything anywhere. It took a long time to learn that. It, I mean, we've got 15 years of experience doing what we do now. Right. So over that 15 years, we have sent a lot of shipments to Europe container shipments, non-container shipments. These are not things that you're going to get done by going into one of our competitors, one of the other franchise stores, or even into a lot of cases to a lot of the independents don't do anything like this. So we specialize and we have our saying is, we ship anything, anywhere, because we can. So this is why we're different. And the way things are going now, there are much more different types of shipments going across the United States, outside of the states down to South America, anywhere you can think of. So if we can do that, then getting something across the United States by post office or FedEx, uh, it's pretty thing, exactly. For you. Exactly. You know, I, there's one other key thing I, we have to bring out, and you've developed a machine, a box making machine, okay. which is really important. What, why is it? It's, and what does it do? Well, we didn't realize how important this is going to be, but it's our own patented machine. We're able to take, uh, 86 inch by 60 inch pieces of cardboard and set up a box and be able to bend it into the proper place. And we use such thick cardboard on this that these boxes are twice as he heavy duty as a regular box that you'd send something with. So right. let's say you've got a, uh, a tube type old guitar amplifier. Use a guitar, yeah, yeah. we were talking about that. And, and that's something that you have to be very careful with. So you, there's only two ways you can damage something. One is a direct intrusion into it, right. and the other is excessive vibration. Right. So when you get a tube amp, you have to be very careful of the excessive vibration. You have to realize that in most cases, your box is gonna get thrown. And so we have to make sure that when we pack something for someone, we realize that it has to be able to withstand a 15 or 20 foot drop from 20 feet. And if you're packing it and, you're, and your packing doesn't adhere to that standard, then it's probably going to get damaged because like I say, it's going to get thrown somewhere in the process most likely. So we have developed our ways of, of doing this with our packing. Then you add to this that heavy duty box, it's impossible to hurt it. Well, that's, that's something that comes along with, with the knowledge that you mm -hmm. have gained right. over your De exploring all the methods of shipping around the world, whatever it might be. And so you expanded and decided to open this up to franchisees. Well, in 2004 and 2005, we had grown the business to a point where we were the largest single store, packing and shipping store in the United States. We won the award for it. It was first given out in 2004 and we won it. It was then given out in 2005 and we won it again that year. It hasn't been given out since, yeah. but when we when we got the accolades for winning this award uh, twice, we had f uh, people coming to us saying, you need to franchise this concept. What you're doing is right. So you have to teach others how to do this. So my wife and I, uh, for a year, we went out and visited other franchise companies all through the franchise industry. We spent time with IFA, the International Franchise Association, and several other places, learning what it was like to be a franchise or what you had to do, right. or what you would have to, uh, have to uh, supply for your customers. And I had a friend once tell me, if you're the franchisor, you set the rules. 
because I didn't like the fact that uh, franchisees had to pay some exorbitant royalties. In some cases, it's 11, 12, 13 percent. Well, if you take your business and you've got to pay somebody else 10 percent of your profits, or right. actually 10 percent of your overall sales out of your profits, that cuts into the amount of money you're going to be able to make. And we have a, a philosophy. We want our franchisees to get to that point where in business, that, that, that beautiful day where you sit down and go, I'm going to make it. We so, want them to hit that point within the first six months. So the point is here, you have a unique arrangement right. uh, as far as the fee that they have to pay you. There is no franchise fee. How about that? Yeah. That's the arrangement. Exactly. <laughs> you also do training for the franchise. Right. But you, you know who to look for. I was going to say, what are you looking for in someone who buys one of your franchises? Becomes Personality. A franchisee. Personality. Personality. Teachability. Yeah. And a desire to make things happen correctly. The desire to be successful. Uh, not everybody can be a successful business owner. Right. Not everyone is geared to that. Not everyone has the right personality for it. So we look for the people that we know have that, ad that ability to take a look at something and grab onto it and run with it. And you train them. You we train teach them. them all the aspects of the, yes. and the, the ones who become franchisees, uh, franchise owners for you, they're, they're succeeding. They're doing well. Yes, we are the only franchise organization that has seen a 300% growth in, our, in the number of franchisees we have yeah. uh, since 20, uh, 2010. Yeah. Most, all of the other franchise businesses in, in that are packing and shipping stores have seen a loss of people. Yours is just the opposite. We're just the opposite. You know, it's a great story. We could talk to you at length about this, but thank you for telling us about this. Uh, I know there are people out there interested. What, what do they do if they're interested in applying to be a franchise owner? Very simple. Look us up online. We're at www.safeship, S-A-F-E-S-H-I-P, dot -E com. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now it's my honor to present this prestigious award to Richard Marsh, the CEO of SafeShip Franchise Corporation of Ormond Beach, Florida, for the outstanding work his firm is doing to help keep moving America forward. Richard, I hand this to you. Congratulations. Thank you. SafeShip works hard to mentor our franchisees, realizing that the most important thing that they can do is be successful. So. It is our goal to make sure that when we work with a franchisee that we have in mind what they need to become so that they can be successful, so that their business will make money, so that they get to that point in life where they look at that and say, I did this. This is mine. I did this. So I thank you very much for this, and it's nice to be recognized for our goals of making and moving America forward. Thank you. That's it for another edition of Moving America Forward. I'm Bert Tenzer. Join us again as we continue to bring you the entrepreneurs who move America forward. I'm William Shatner, and for all of us at Moving America Forward, thanks for watching.